Today I'm gonna to show you how to connect all of your Apple devices to the Quest 3 headset so you can have a spatial computing experience and save yourself $3,000. With the release of the $3,500 Vision Pro headset, Apple has rebranded mixed reality as spatial computing. But with a few free apps on the Quest 2 and 3, you can enjoy a similar multi-screen setup which incorporates your laptop or PC. Like and subscribe to CNET for more how-to videos. Let's start with Bluetooth devices. The Vision Pro uses hand tracking and gestures to control apps as does the Quest 2 and 3, but let's face it, that will take some time to get used to and nine times out of 10, a good keyboard and mouse are the easiest ways to interface with our machines. First, I'll connect my Apple Magic Mouse and then my Magic Keyboard. To connect your Bluetooth mouse, go to Settings and select Devices and then click Pair. So now I have a mouse and keyboard connected and it's starting to feel pretty spatial. And finally, I'll connect my Apple AirPods and I'm good to go. The Quest headset will remember those devices in the future to easily connect again. The Quest headset has a built-in browser called the MetaQuest browser, which will allow you to open up to three windows and multiple tabs to get some real work done. So as you can see, you can multitask using the MetaQuest browser. Right now I'm working on my script in this window while watching a CNET video in this window while surfing CNET.com in this window. Unfortunately, the Quest 3 and 2 only allow you to use one app at a time, but you can have multiple windows open on the Firefox browser, for example, or the MetaQuest browser. I could watch a video on how to play the drums while shopping for drums while having my drum kit visible right in front of me. And you can use the MetaQuest browser alongside some Quest applications like the MetaQuest Remote Display, for example. You will not find Safari, Chrome, or my gaming son's favorite, the Opera browser, in the MetaQuest store. Let me connect my MacBook Pro. The MetaStore has a number of work productivity apps like Immersed or Meta Horizon Workrooms, which are totally free and will connect with your Apple laptop or Windows laptop, allowing you to utilize multiple screens and apps. The MetaQuest Remote Display is another good alternative for interfacing with your computer in a spatial environment. Here's how to set it up. Start the app in the headset and we'll ask you to email a link to download the remote desktop application onto the laptop you wanna connect with. Upon receiving the email, download the app and follow the instructions. Now that I've downloaded onto my computer, when I start it up, it sees my computer and I just hit connect. So now I'm using my MacBook Pro in a spatial computing environment. I can reconnect my Magic Mouse and keyboard to my MacBook Pro. I can edit this video while watching CNET videos on YouTube while tweaking the script at the same time. I could do everything that I do at work in this spatial environment. It looks pretty good, I like it. But you are limited in remote display to only view one screen at a time. So now I'm using my personal laptop, which is an HP Spectre with a remote display to show you that you can use other applications like Pro Tools in a spatial environment. Now let's try a more robust multi-screen app called Immersed, which also happens to be free and highly rated. Once the app loads, a virtual assistant will ask you to go to Immersed.com and download the Immersed agent. Let's get your computer connected. On your computer, go to Immersed.com setup. Then you'll need this pairing code to follow the instructions. Let's set up your keyboard. Great. You can now see a virtual version of your keyboard. Let's move on. So now I'm inside the Immersed app. And as you can see, I have multiple screens here. You can snap them together. It feels pretty spatial to me, but do I really want to spend hours with this thing on my face? And how long before I need to hardwire my headset so the battery doesn't die? And I know what you're thinking, hey, you're using an M3 MacBook Pro with a Magic Keyboard, Magic Mouse, and AirPods, which together cost more than one Vision Pro headset. Well, this is my work laptop, by the way. I did not buy it, but that is a totally valid argument. This setup will work with most Apple or Windows computers and the MetaQuest 2, which is currently only $250. So $250 for the Quest 2 or $500 for the Quest 3, plus whatever Bluetooth peripherals you might already own, plus the free app. We're facial computing for much less. Now let's do entertainment. 
Apple's Vision Pro touts Apple TV integration to enjoy movies and TV shows, but you can enjoy similar experiences in the Quest 3 and 2 with free apps like Big Screen, which will place you in front of a giant virtual screen with a number of virtual environments to choose from. Big Screen has apps for YouTube, Prime Video, and Disney built in, and you can even invite your friends to watch something with you. There are also options to mirror your computer's desktop so you can use the space as a virtual office. There are other native entertainment Quest apps as well, like Netflix, YouTube VR, and Vudu, just to name a few. And last but not least, you can enjoy a spatial video-like experience by simply <laughs> uploading videos from your phone to Google Drive or Dropbox, and then downloading them onto the Quest headset to watch in multiple formats on a giant screen hovering in front of your eyes. These videos look great on this giant screen in front of my face. And you can resize the screen to be massive and it almost feels like I'm there. It's not a spatial video format, but the video still looks sharp and stunning when played in the Quest 3. <laughs> and I've not had the opportunity to try out the Vision Pro headset, so I can't at this time compare the difference. Well, that's how to enjoy a spatial computing experience for much less on the Quest 2 or 3. Is working in mixed reality or spatial computing something that you're really excited about? Tell us why you're excited or not in the comments and like and subscribe to CNET for more how-to videos like this one. Thanks for watching.